I didn't want to bring this up because on InsideArkansas.com, I know uh, we had uh, Curtis put up there as far as bowl projections for Arkansas. And I just wanted to see <laughs> uh, which ones that Razorback fans would actually be most interested in or ones that they would actually be in all in favor of. Um, and this comes from various outlets and whatnot, but Athlon Sports has Arkansas going to the Texas Bowl against TCU. That game being in Houston, down there in NRG Stadium. Running so, it back. They tried it in 2020. Exactly. Yep. Yep. Stuff. Multiple uh, projections for that, actually. Yeah. Bryles, Dominique Johnson. That's right. Well, well uh, it's not the only one that there'll be a little interesting action there. Because uh, mm-hmm. uh, speaking of Action Network, Brett McMurphy has the Texas Bowl once again, but this time against Texas Tech and the Red Raiders. I'd rather see That's TCU. Exciting. Same. Same. That seems pretty boring. Uh, ESPN has Arkansas, ooh, 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 has Arkansas in the Birmingham Bowl. Against Rutgers, please not no. attending. <laughs> yeah, Dude. please no. Could you? We I don't think do there's a post game show after that. <laughs> we no, I won't even watch it. Like that, that will be disgusting on all levels, and oh. nobody needs to be like. Th- they should literally get their money back. The whoever sponsors that uh, bowl game, I don't know who it, who it is. It, doesn't it used to be the Meineke Car Care Bowl or something like that. Mm, I don't that know. was a classic. Oh yeah. gosh. So yeah, don't uh, just get your money back from that. <laughs> Uh, ESPN also Schleybaugh has a Texas Bowl once again against TCU. So uh, a couple there. Twenty four seven Sports has the Gasparilla Bowl down there in Tampa versus Army. Pretty that would be interesting to me, actually. Um, just where play a team that's going to run it at you sixty five times and, and like you never see Army. I don't know. Yeah, it wouldn't it would be, be the cool. best, but like I wouldn't hate it. Hate it. Yeah, I would I, like it. One by the way, Army is a playoff contender. Let's just let's just get that out there real quick. Uh, yeah. They also beat UAB way more handedly than Arkansas did. But I will say, you give Travis Williams a month to prepare for that rinky-dink offense, he might clamp them up pretty good. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, and well, depending on what the teams even look like at that point. Well, I don't know if it's uh, a month, because that, that bowl game's like freaking probably like December 18th or something like that. Yeah. Like yeah, a week. Knows, yeah. right. But no, I think uh, if you're going to face a service academy, you'd rather face them in a situation like this where you get – Full plenty of time to uh, run the wishbone. The the final one, and I saved this one for last, is CBS Sports. The Music City Bowl in Nashville, which I'm all in favor for, and I love that game, and I want to be back there against Illinois and Brett Give me Bielema. That. Give me that. Dude. Come that on. might that. be the best possible bowl scenario for me personally as a human that gets to go to Nashville uh, for Brett Bielema. It's like... It just would be it would be a lot of fun to you know Barry Lenny, there's Grant Morgan. I mean the list goes on. Pittman yeah. and Bielema sitting up at a large podium talking about the game. Like it'd be it'd having be to pretend fun. like they don't yep. hate each other's guts. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. Pittman and would then, say nice things about him, but good lord, man, they uh that would be and and again we 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 say that about you know Kiffin and Pittman they like each other. Is there anybody who Pittman outside of Bielema who Pittman really doesn't like? I'm sure there's a few. I bet you he hates. I know. I know he hates Drinkwitz. You know he hates Drinkwitz. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay, that's that's rare. Drink, yeah. But I was gonna say yeah. it, it is. It is rare though that Pittman really has bad blood with anybody. So I, I would like that a lot. I would too. I, I just hearing them because Bielma did this a lot, especially when if, I'm sure you guys remember when Pittman left. Uh, Bielma kept making sure that he got credit for all those offensive linemen that signed with Arkansas. He's like, yeah, yeah. I went down there, to Denver Kirkland. Yeah, he, he signed because of me. Uh, you know, I'm the one that got actually signed him and everything. So I'm sure that there's some. Bittersweet, but you think about it, yeah, not only that, but then the angle of like, oh, Petrino, you know, the guy that replaced you and crushed the football program and tried to get back. And, you know, he, he, the, the, the in between there, there'd be so much juiciness from it. So, as far as a bowl game goes, that might be the most, the best case scenario for interest, for intrigue, for really motivation. Cause, you know, Beal would want to win that one too, as badly oh, yeah. as anybody. Oh, yeah. So, uh, and yeah, there'd be a lot of, a lot of good stuff there. But I will say stuff. Texas Bowl against TCU, I'm all for. Like I, I really, I mean, I, one my brother lives in Houston, so I'd have a place to stay. But uh, I had a good time when I went there last time, and just the TCU thing. Texas Tech just doesn't do it for me though. Like, yeah. can anyone name any human being associated with the Texas Tech football program? I certainly cannot. Can I anyone can't. in the chat name nope. one person currently associated with Texas Tech football? Nope. I can't. I can't even name who their coach is. I don't me even know. Either. Yeah, I don't know. So yeah, that would be pretty boring. Quarterback, I got nothing. Running back, I don't know nothing about those cats. Yeah, yeah. So best case scenario, yeah, best case scenario, Music City Bowl against uh, Illinois. Worst case scenario, the Birmingham Bowl versus Rutgers. Gosh, yeah. man, 
Dude, that would be they so really, disgusting. They really just need, please win one more of these SEC games. I mean, win them all, but like at least win one more of them and get past Louisiana Tech. Get to the seven win thing, uh, minimum four and four in the SEC. You'll get into a pretty good bowl at that point. But yeah. if they do the thing where they're six and six and that Birmingham bowl is just looming out there, mm -hmm. I don't also, everybody's him. asking, they're like, wait, Pittman doesn't like Bielema? Y'all think it was a coincidence he just left in the middle of, uh, you know, and I know Georgia is like a place you'd want to go, but it's like, because uh, considering how much Sam Pittman clearly loves Arkansas, for him to take a lateral move, I mean, which Georgia's a great program, but it's like, what are, are yeah. we playing dumb here? What are we talking about? Well, people forget, too, that the year before the, uh, Pittman left for Georgia, Pittman was offered the job at Alabama as the offensive line coach. Yeah. And for a lot more money, and they had to match him. Like, so it's not like, oh, he just wanted out of there because Alabama was a bigger program in Georgia at that time. Mm -hmm. So yeah, there, no, there's there's not any there's not any love lost there. But Beal is kind of that guy. Like, there's a lot of yeah. coaches that do not like him. You know, he's he's kind of like must minus the everything. He, he just there's the way he approaches things. It just people <laughs> don't like him. Must so. minus the success is a tough bill, but uh, yeah, and he threw a lot of shots. <laughs> direct and subliminal at Pittman after he left. And uh, mm -hmm. I, for one, did not stand for that, especially because the O-line immediately started sucking, which I know the O-line sucks now. You don't have to remind me, but I just mean, <laughs> in hindsight, it played out pretty well in Pittman's favor. Yes, it did. Yeah, and especially because you went on to Georgia and had, like, first-round draft picks every year and right. everything. So, yeah, I think that that was a big part of it. But, man, yeah, I just could, I couldn't wait. Going to Nashville would be fun, you know, for that. I haven't been to Nashville around the New Year's time frame. So, yeah, that'd be cool, man. so what, so what get seven wins probably is what they got to get to, to, to feel good about that. Um, seven, maybe eight would, I think eight would really put them in spots for games like that. Uh, okay. Right. Cause that's a little bit. <laughs> what? I, I, I didn't, I didn't hear what you said. I was waiting for you to, you to start. And then, no, no I was just gonna say winning seven games, at least gets you off that mark where you're like, possibly playing Rutgers in the Gasparilla Bowl oh, or yeah. like something stupid. And when you win seven, you're not going to get like a, a stinker of a bowl. Yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah, because I think the worst – well, I don't know. Arkansas won seven games and went to the end of, uh, or into the Liberty Bowl. Uh, that was Biel a long Mazzini. time ago, though. That was like a 10 years ago. They went five and three in the SEC, and they gave them the Liberty Bowl. <laughs> like, it's, it okay, the trash. Liberty Bowl back in the day really wasn't – Viewed as one of the worst bowls, it is uh, now. That's a good point. But this is that you know, there's a lot that has changed. But that was back in the day, John, when they used to actually play in the Outback Bowl, and the winner would get the Bloomin' Onion. And if the a if the Big Ten won, you had the the uh, what was it like the crab something? Yeah, I don't remember what it was. Crab Lang Ra Lang Rangoon or something? Like, uh, I don't remember what it was, but something <laughs> weird. Uh, yeah, back when bowl it's games matter. It's coconut shrimp is what it is. I was about to say, what the hell are we talking about? Crab at Outback? And, yeah, okay, not crab I rangoons. I, I got <laughs> Just throwing things out there, see what happens. I was like, dang, they got crab rangoon. I got to go back there. <laughs> yeah, I, can, I cannot name the last time I've been to an Outback Steakhouse, so I, I wouldn't even know uh, oh, dude, it's what a it's great all about. Organization. Oh, by the way, um, since we're talking about that story that's up with the uh, the bowl projections, did you guys know that Arkansas has still a 0.6% chance of reaching the college football playoff? Went out. So I want to throw that out there. I'm saying there's a chance. That's all. 0.6. <laughs> it's kind of like reminds me. All right, cover your ears, Curtis. It's kind of reminds me of, uh, you know, in the movie uh, Avengers Endgame and everything. It's like, hey, there's just, you know, one. One way that it happens. So. Did I not just watch that? What did I watch? You watched Infinity War, where that does right. happen, where he does all right. the simulations. Yeah, like, like, but but you didn't see how it turned out there, Curtis. I mean, I don't <laughs> want to be spoiler alert. You know, you didn't see if they found a way to get that one way of of having of winning. So, <laughs> oh, but in end game when he does turn to him and he's like, yeah, holding like, like shivering that in, yeah, golly, you're dorks, been Dragon Ball Z and Avengers on today. <laughs>